minutes. I want to thank uh, my friend, Mr. Ben Holland, uh, for uh, the work he's done. And I want to rise uh, in opposition to this focus on federal employees. First of all, the federal employees have contributed $75 billion over the last uh, two years towards helping us uh, reduce the deficit. $75 billion. No other working American has been asked to do that. You treat federal employees uh, in this House as second-class working people. That's wrong. This is a 5% tax increase on federal employees. Nobody else. Nobody else do we ask. The richest people in America, we don't ask to help solve this deficit problem. But federal employees, yes, $75 billion contribution. And you don't blink an eye because... It's easy because we demagogue about government, and by association, we demagogue about bureaucrats used as an epithet. These are, as Mr. Van Hollen pointed out, people who protect our food, try to make sure that uh, we can find cures to cancer, uh, protect us from terrorism, guard our borders. That's who we're talking about and we treat them as second-class citizens. That's wrong. It's wrong for our country, it's wrong for the American people, and it's wrong for us as an institution representing the government of this country. Ladies and gentlemen, reject this. I'm going to talk about other aspects of this so-called reconciliation bill uh, at a little future date. But I ask you, on this basis alone, Federal employees, I will tell you, as one who represents a large number, are ready to participate in helping to bring down this deficit and meet this crisis. But do not ask them to do it alone. That's what Mr. Van Hollen says about oil companies, big corporations, loopholes, and the wealthiest in America. Don't simply ask more from those who have less and ask less from those who have more. That is not good policy. Let us not pursue it. And I yield back the balance of my time. Gentleman's time is